welcome back once again in this part we will update our data to our server and in our previous tutorial we added we set our data to our layout so if we want to update our data then we need to we need to as we need to use same post key and we need to then we need to set this data to our database so inside our button update set on click listener we need to add we need to add first we need to add we need we can we need to it use same variable that we set to our edit text so this type is going to be edit type dot get text dot to string dot trim that's why we said we need to declare this variable globally now note is equal to this edit node that is our input field that is our custom dialog input field edit, edit node and dot get text dot to a string dot trim and this variable we will pass to our database so that is the advantage of using global variable and we can access it anywhere now we need to and so we added type and note and get text to a string and trim and get text to a string dot trim now create a string variable for amount and convert it to a string so a string dot value of amount because we need to pass it to as a string so that's why we, we convert this integer to a string so now this m d amount and is going to be edit tag edit amount dot get text dot to a string dot trim so we just convert this integer amount to a string and we and, and we set it to our edit amount input field now we need to again it change it to integer maybe we can directly upload it okay no problem so convert it again it to integer so integer my amount and integer dot percent and now convert it to m data amount okay now we can pass our data and for this time we can add our id as post key that we generate so we added all these three input fields okay we added three input field and create a string variable a string m date because we want to add a new date when we will update our update our data then we would like to show this update date so that's why we are creating a new date so a string m date is equal to date format dot get dot instance dot format new date and this date and this date is equal to so first we need to create our object of our model class so data data is equal to new data and in here we need to add our all these three fields so if we look at our constructor we can see our amount our type our note our id and our date so what is our integer amount our amount was my amount and our type is going to be our type and our node is going to be node and for id we need to use post key because we would like to add inside our same post key so we don't need to add so this post key is from our firebase recycler adapter where we generate this post key and second parameter is for our m date so this post key is so this is our m income database so now we need to add this m income database dot child and this child is going to be our post key because we need to add we need to update our data inside same 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 key so that's why we need to use this post key and dot set value is going to be our data now dialog dot dismiss if we update our data then we would like to dismiss our dialog so i think all functionality done perfectly if i did not do any mistake i hope it will work we will be able to update update our data to our firebase database and i think all this 
are perfect and now we can run our application so hit this run button and here is our application and this is our dashboard fragment and this is our income and this is our expense fragment so now open this income fragment and instead of 800 we can update this data and we can add 900 and for food we can add some more text and we can call it food burger and i love food and just add burger and now we if we click our if we click this update button and we can see our data is updated and we can see our text our date and our total amount is updated so update second data at type salary and change the text and we can add i got it at update and now we can see our data is all also updated and our total submission is updated so now all this functionality is working perfectly and we did it so update this one also just want to make sure that all these key are working perfectly and we can add our type we can add payment and add we can call it got it and update and we can see our data is also updated so i think all this functionality is working perfectly and we can retrieve our data after update and we can also but we did not add any delete functionality and in our next part we will start working on delete part but i think we can do it now so we need to we just need to add m income database dot child and in here we need to add our post key and dot remove value and this single line of code will delete our data so if we run these apps and if we open any update and if we delete and now we can see our data is deleted